Hello and welcome to Sony Ericsson Support. In this video, we'll discuss ways to extend the battery life of your phone. All Sony Ericsson phones running the Android operating system are designed to be connected to the internet. While this is great for reading mail or news, listening to streaming music or watching online video, you should be aware that using these services will affect the available battery lifetime in your phone. Some examples are applications that connect to the internet on a schedule to update a list of status messages, email, news, or applications that stream music or video. Most applications that do this have an option to change the refresh interval, sometimes called the update frequency, or set the updates to manual so that no background network access takes place. Look in the settings menu, often found by pressing the menu key in applications, and change the settings to update less frequently if possible. Other applications use auto-sync to get data to the phone, which also reduces battery time. Examples of this are Google Mail, Calendar, and Contacts. From the home screen, press the menu key and select Settings. Tap Accounts and Sync. You can now uncheck background data. This will save battery, but you will have to synchronize your Google Mail, Calendar, and Contacts manually. To do this, Open your Google account sync settings and tap the services you want to sync. Since internet connectivity as a whole can use a lot of battery, a good way of improving battery life is to turn off all data connections when not actively using the phone. From the home screen, press the menu key and select settings. Tap wireless and networks, then mobile networks and uncheck Data enabled to turn off the data connection altogether. To help you keep track of which applications are using the battery the most, there is the battery usage menu in your phone. From the home screen, press the menu key and select settings. Scroll down and tap about phone and then battery use. A list of applications and services appears and you can see which ones are using the most power. If you are concerned about battery life, you should make a habit of checking this battery information from time to time, especially after you have installed and used new applications from the Android market. Tapping the graph above will give you a view of the battery usage since you started your phone. Here you can see the quality of the phone signal, if Wi-Fi has been on, how long the phone has been awake, and how long the screen has been on. Now it's time for some quick tips that can help extend battery time. Your phone comes with a GPS receiver, excellent for services like Google Maps or for geotagging your camera photos. If you are not using any of these services, however, you could disable GPS, open settings and locate, location and security. Then uncheck, use GPS satellites. Your phone can also use wireless networks to work out its position. This service needs to access a wireless network to confirm your location at regular intervals and can be turned on or off by unchecking Use Wireless Networks. If you find yourself turning on and off different connections often, add the power control widget. Here you can easily turn on or off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, AutoSync and adjust the screen brightness. When not using the connectivity functions, simply turn them off by tapping them. The last setting of the widget controls the screen brightness. Tap the icon to switch between low, mid and high brightness. If you keep the screen on often, try setting the brightness as low as possible to gain extra battery time. If you feel that your phone is a bit more sluggish than you were used to, or that the battery level suddenly starts to drop faster than usual, consider restarting your phone. While applications ordinarily shut down correctly without you having to think about it, some applications from Android Market might have issues that prevents them from doing so, using unnecessary resources. A restart will make them stop consuming power until you start them again. Keep an eye on the battery use monitor to see if an application is using excessive amounts of battery and uninstall the application in question if the problem persists. Thank you for taking the time to view this film. You'll find more information about your phone by visiting the support zone where you can improve your user experience.